Good morning, people. Mr. Atrophy here. This is my tank. It's doing okay. Had an outbreak of ick. Had some ammonia spikes. Had a couple problems. Um, killed some fish. And but they're doing better. You see the little Julie cat down there. He um. That's the guy that sometimes he schools with the other fish, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen a catfish do. He schools with those barbs right there, the golds. Got little guys right there. Those are little rosies. See one female right there. Where's the, the males going behind? Right there, that's one. There's the blue karami. Got a bristlenose pleco, but he is inside the Buddha. Yeah. He comes out at night. Got a bubble barn back because the fish love it. Tried it one day and the fish just love playing in it. And doing pretty good. This guy. can be an asshole. He can be rather pushy, especially when he gets hungry for some reason. He was really bloated, and it's kind of disgusting, and had his, his scat, his poop, was off color. And I've never seen him do that before. Um, it was white and stringy and he was really bloated so I gave him shrimp on and off for a couple days because well it's roughage and it moved whatever was bothering him through and now he's ravenous um, he's just eating everybody out of house and home so he's got a lot of energy like right now, he can swim by the fish and not do anything. But a little bit ago, before I fed him, they, uh, he was just picking on everybody. My girlfriend gets a kick out of Big Blue here because uh, he's what's called a labyrinth fish. If you're not familiar, they actually breathe air. Um, they've got what's called a labyrinth organ. There is the rosy. If he would come broadside you'd see him better. There he is. I've had a number of those but uh, ammonia spikes killed one batch and it just killed another one. Um, so hopefully they are doing better. Um, they get about three times that size. They'll get about as big as the goldens. Um, right now I'm still treating the tank a little bit. I got the temperature up at uh, 86 um, for another couple days. That speeds up the X life cycle. And then I got some medicine went in it, which interferes with a stage of their life. Okay. So, that's my tank. That's pretty. I'm enjoying it. My fiance is kind of sick of all the little problems it gets. Um, but I really enjoy sitting and watching the tank. I really do. And I have another family member besides the fishies to introduce. So I'm going to cut away and I'll be right back. I have an introduction for you people. This is Little Miss Puck. We adopted her from a store. And she is just the sweetest thing. She's Bombay. Little copper eyes, I hope you can see. And she's about a year and a half old. We fell in love with her and we just had to bring her home. I've become very attached to her, and she's become pretty attached to me. She 
He's just a sweetie. This is our new family member. Miss Puck. Say hello, everybody. Say hello, Puck Puck. Aww. I think she's tired. She said good night. Oh, she's needing me. Yeah, she's in a happy place. 